I got a cart here with Dollar General and Dollar Tree stuff, so. I'll have to take my time on loading it. I got a couple of canisters, so hopefully I don't get those weird lungs again. We didn't get it for the sugar, because sugar has a cone. Powder sugar can go in a little container or whatever. We're not using it. We each got a new thing for our juices. Two quarts and one gallon. Jimmy's got some tea. That's Dollar General. Gatorade zeros. I got my uh, powdered sugar, my left brown sugar. Uh, I'm gonna order a couple. I got the green dots, so I might go get a couple more canisters on uh, Amazon. Anyway, we got the splendid to come from Amazon. I don't know if it's, I guess double the price because it's double the weight. These are Jimmy's Arizona things. That's a dollar tree thing. Another Arizona tea. A men's uh, shower gel. I didn't get much there because, well, I stayed away from the Halloween things. I got some coat hangers I found downstairs. Wire hangers. And I want to see how to make a wreath with them. I've seen people make wreaths, but before I buy the stuff, I want to see how they're done, and if I don't, I keep them anyways, because I can always use them. I just use my bolt cutters and whatever. Whatever. Some batteries. I just got four of this pump. I'll bring a pumpkin for the whoopie pies. We're making the mini whoopie pies for the bake sale. That's coming up in the craft sale. And some people want a couple of my bracelets, so I may make a couple of them too to go for the craft party. But and whoopie pies are minis, so I'll put four in a little baggie and tell them well. And I you guys, I charge like 25 cents for the little whoopie pie piece, and then I don't know, I'll figure it out. I think 75 cents would be fair. I sell them when they go for 75 cents. I don't know why. One, pumpkin's not cheap, two, the spice needed for it ain't cheap, and three, cream cheese for the filling ain't cheap. And Dollar General only had Philadelphia, and I think I got way more than what I need, but we can always use it for whatever. You can put it in crock pot recipes, pressure cooker recipes, and make a cream sauce that way. Women's body wash, cherry blossom. We got cherry blossom bubble bath, that's all they had. And some more Jimmy's tea, I'll leave them right in there. I had to get this for the bathroom because our old one has mold in it. It's a linen one anyway. They didn't have many colors, so that looks nice for a bathroom. I couldn't find any of those cleaning masks, so I'm gonna do it this way and clean it. <laughs> just take it like a man or a woman, whatever. I got distilled water in there for, well, I gotta have a sleep study, so I may get a CPAP this month from Morris in Potsdam, the medical place. So, I'll need it for that, and I'll need it for my neti pot, because I, I am sick. This is what happens you get the food shot, by the way. A nice great big bag of Dr. Peel for whatever ails you. Interesting neti pot rustler. I wish I knew where it was. It had some natural things in it anyway. Uh, Java. And my insurance no longer pays for my fish oil like they were. So I had to get some Dollar Tree. So God forbid. I hope it doesn't make me feel like I got puke. After I take it. Because it has to be really bad for so not to happen. Jimmy's coffee drinks. UPS could be rapping at the door any minute in the church with the three wheel wheels, so I, I'm after that. But I'm trying to get all this away. Let me run it in. I'm, I got a green dat down here. I got the Ouija board coming from uh, an eBay seller. And I'm going to actually, I'll use it eventually. But I, I have a plan for bringing something to our potluck. I don't go to the Halloween party because. And Jimmy don't, because the band they have is a little bit too 
old for our musical taste that we like heavy metal and rock. And these are like Elvis, Hank Williams, something like that, but it's not of our era, you know what I mean? So I stay home Halloween night, got popcorn coming from Amazon again, and some goldfish crackers, and lo and behold, I got my Roku player in my room, and I'll be happy. And then you can watch what you want, so. These little guys were nice. They came with a little scooper. And that is, oh, two tablespoons. I think these are each three-something. Then they had really big ones for cereal. But shit, how the fuck can I get it off? Oh, I'll figure out how to put it back in, I guess. So I got one for my bread flour and my AP. I only use King Arthur's on bleach. Or the organic one that's coming. I don't know, though. Someone said that the unbleached is better at the impact than the glycemic scale or something. So, I don't know if that's true. I'm not getting any whole wheat flour yet, so. Japanese blossom. Just gonna make a white bread when it first comes. I try it out, and I'm not obviously not gonna have no pumpkin, but maybe I'll pick up some more of that with a back row there that next week or something. And make some pumpkin bread, cooked bread for us. You know Jimmy hates squash. <laughs> He'll eat it as long as it's got all that pumpkin pie flavoring really stuff in there. But this is pureed pumpkin, 100%. There's nothing else added to it. So if you want to make a soup with it or whatever else you like to do with pumpkin, you can do that too. But I know Jimmy would not eat the pumpkin soup in a million years because he hates winter squash. But it's okay if you fix it into the cookies or whatever, or the whoopie pies, and then he'll be cool with that. So there's fish oil. Of course, I won't use Splenda with that because the brown sugar ain't Splenda brown, so. We know people are fussy. Some of them did like that sugar-free cake I brought. We brought it. I got a new brush because we can't find ours currently. Now that we got this, watch the ones that are loose turn up. So I'm sorry I had a messy hair. I had to use what I did like. Baking soda, I used my last one. I use it a lot too for cleaning, not just for baking. Too. They also say if you take a bay leaf and put it in your cabinet, you won't get those weird little black whatever they are, they got in the flour. I don't know why they did. Here's a whole bunch of drink mixes. Uh, I'm not taking these out. I just see that we always have them. Oh, there's another pumpkin. A wayward. So we got four pumpkins all together because we need one cup, I think, for each batch of the whoopie pies. And I'm going to double it because they're small. They're not like large ones. They're tiny. And by the time you put the lids together, I call them lids, the top and the bottom. Um, there's one, there's one, there's one, whatever. You need an extra batch. Because I want to make me and my mom and my brother and Jenny some for home. So. Let's see. I don't want to lecture about the fucking, when you see it, the Halloween candy, I'm on Humulin, are you? My sugars are doing a lot better and everything. My kidney functions are doing better. I have to have them because Humulin, are you, will cause a very scary low. Who is it? Hold on, Jimmy. Can you come out and get the UPS order? Come on, Jimmy. He's coming. <coughs> all right. All right. <coughs> That's another picture. Man, I just bought the farm. Yeah, you better stay around because the church ought to be here for the supper. I don't know if you want that or your pizza tonight. But if you don't want. More drink mixes here. Oh. Country times? There we go. Not now. Got enough drink shit. Debbie has the drinks down there if you want them, but. You don't want to get in now, you don't have to. But she's got a lot of stuff down here out there. You bring your checkbook too, so. I'm working on it, Jimmy. Oh, I'll have please. to yell for you to come and get the church dinner too, so don't go far. Unless you want to stay out here and wait. Do you really? I do.
I don't friggin' need that right now. Come on, get out of here. Defix. Okay, I thought I fucked up not here. Better than almost rolling on my toe. I got the bread. Reduce special. Oh. Fry halfers good. I'll put that down here for them. Yeah, super bad when I go to the bathroom. I couldn't find any cooking things. I got so many wax melts, so I'll be fine. This is an ultra moisturizing body wash with shea butter. Shea. I don't look what that is. I know it's in a lot of stuff. It's probably like coconut. Dietitian, we went there. We did good the other day. and We're trying to do the best we can. I mean, we did splurge in that pizza last night, so. I don't know if I'm losing any weight yet, but my sugars are getting better and some uh, other things have gotten better, so. Other than this cold, which I think sucks because I got the flu shot. I was hoping that we'd avoid this problem. I tell you, if you take me, wanted us to get it because, oh, it's going to be pretty bad this year. It is, huh? You want to burn that by me again? <laughs> Japanese Blossom. Three of those. From Dollar Tree. Well, seriously, that's fucked up. When you get this shot, you don't want to get sick, then you get sick from it. Not to mention the pain in the arm. I just hope I don't end up with BKA again. Like I said, my sugar's been doing good. Except for this cold. But I think tonight I'm going to clean up the headboard and I'm going to bring in my, uh, so I can fit my oil diffuser in there. I'm going to try and turn to, uh, the internet and Alexa and the Mayo Clinic, I guess. The humidifier is the best thing for a post basal problem in my med pot. That's why you'll see distilled water in here. Don't use tap water with it because it burns. I didn't know it actually did that once. It's pretty painful. <laughs> you know, if you've ever gotten pool water in your nose, you know what I'm talking about. That chlorine hurts bad. So there's another one. I got one for my AP flour and I got one for my bread flour. So. I don't use whole wheat yet, but if I get one, I'll get another one for whole wheat. So. But I don't know why those bugs get in the cabinet. I know what they are. They're probably darkling beetles because that's what I used to when I had my lizards. And you know, if you don't give them all the mealworms that they burrow sometimes, they'll end up with them they're black. They're like a natural parasite, I think, the flower and wheat. I just hope they don't like cornstarch. <laughs> I use cornstarch for cooking and sometimes I'll use it for powder. Because it's not talc. Talc is not good. My uncle, who never really smoked the day, not too many days ago, like, yeah, cigars, but they say cigar smokers are so happy to get cancer and cigarette smokers, I don't know. But anyway, he worked at <clears throat> the talc, talc mines in Governor, New York, and they think that's a lot of his cancer was from that. The sick game been putting talc on babies for years. That's creepy. I should have known that stuff wasn't good. So we got these. These are Kit Kats and Reese's. I couldn't find that other Reese's blend we got last month. I had uh, This is this regular, regular Reese's cup. And then... Butter... Motherfucker, I didn't get the Butterfinger one. And I wanted the Butterfinger. Son of a goddamn bitch. Whoppers and milk duds and fucking Hershey's. And I got ended up, I did end up getting one of the little Butterfinger, but that's alright. That's like, that's fucking life. But you want to do one that goes well. Um, I did get one. I didn't. That, that, at least the bugs can't get into there. And this comes with its own canister. Why do I have this if I have Splenda? Well, when you do bread making in a bread machine, the yeast doesn't know what the fuck Splenda is. It knows what honey is and it knows what sugar is, but when it comes to Splenda, I, I did it once before I tried to make pizza dough and I ended up with like a weird puddle. The dough wouldn't rise or do nothing. It just kind of sat there like, and, like what the fuck am I supposed to do with this Splenda shit? <laughs> so, you know, and if you need it for baking, like the whoopie pies, I'll probably use that because you know, I don't have 
the splendid brown, so I can't make it totally sugar free as I want it to be. So, are you gonna buy the splendid bacon bread and money go out? It's half and half, but it's not sugar free and has lower sugar. So, I had to get that for the whoopie pies. Make the cream cheese uh, icing, I think. I don't know about that, I would need it. I got some blue bonnet for now. Well, I probably won't use I could use that in a bread when I, because it doesn't matter the bread with butter or margarine. But when I make my baked goods like that, I'll use real butter. I'll just soften it, take it out. Unsalted, though. I'm a weirdo. I use unsalted butter all the time. And then, you know, if you're putting it on like, your vegetables, then you don't have too much salt. You can put a little bit of regular salt or like your Himalayan, whatever you like. I'm going to try to get Jenny on to uh, Mrs. Dash for a reason. But anyway, there's uh, some cream cheese for that. All I need two ounces. Fucking I don't even have in the way of it. So I'll have to figure that out in cups. For the, we'll be the rest of it, maybe I'll take one. And, isn't there some sort of weird recipe you can make with cream cheese and ranch dressing and... Something called cracked chicken or chicken crack. I'll have to look it up. It's a crock pot recipe. Or maybe instant pot too. We've got the instant pot coming. But I'll save one of them. I know this little man can't help it, but there's more Gatorade zeros. I'm just leaving them in here so we can bring them over there when we put them in the that way. But the little man has accidents. Apparently, he really throws up when he's been a neat cat. He's in his box right now. I'll wait till he doesn't get hurt with this thing out here. So, um, Jimmy has the frost. Look at his. That, that's more Amazon stuff. <laughs> I do belong to the Vine program. Yes, I do. So, but if there's something with the Vine program, I won't open it up up here. So. A secret covert, you know what I mean? Right in the news, they give you a product. You just got to be careful, it'll go over 600 plus dollars a year for you have to pay it, pay the taxes. You just got to be careful. But anyway, there's distilled water. A couple things I got, then there were pieces of crap, and I had to throw them out, and there were Chinese items. And Jimmy says, No more Chinese items. I said, But what ain't made in China? I asked Jimmy. No, it can be made in China, but made by a reputable American company. There's a difference. I had a diva ring, like, light thing, or camera, it didn't even work. I was hoping it would. It would have been cool for my art room and craft room for filming, but, yeah. Whatever light I got in there is good enough, so. I got a couple more towels, because, like I said, my little man over there, he, he has his accidents. He's getting, well, he's getting there, so. Are you doing good, Bailey? We'll get you out of here, don't worry. So I'm going to go open up the craft room and slide that down there. Put the water in it. We're going to put that big snow water. And then we'll get closer to the bathroom to put the stuff in the bathroom and it's going inside. Yeah, look at that. Hold on back! I think one of those is a pantry item, so. So one of these is fine, and I'll see which one is. Okay, we're gonna let you out. But for safety reasons, you gotta wait. You're not in San Quentin. 
So this one's a buying thing. I'm not gonna open that up here. So and this is pantry. So that goes along with the grocery haul, I guess. Shopping haul. The other half of this is coming uh, Friday, Thursday, and then next week we'll do a grocery haul. So you got what we got in our cabinets. I'll have to make a day where I can make that shit because here's the popcorn, Jimmy Bear. There's another thing of Pop Secret. Ready for Halloween. I'm going to try to give up my Cheetos and only eat off this machine and get the small ones from my Oh, it's a little. That says your instant yeast for the bread machine. We got some beaming. We we're going to get that. Uh, Cameron's stovetop smoker in, but then we decided not to. We don't really have the exhaust fans in our apartment complex to have that. And it may be pretty overpowering. And plus, to him, too. He's old. He don't need that. I got a big pork tenderloin, but I figured I'll just put it in my convection oven with a lot of bacon and barbecue on it. The cool, dry place. For optimum results, refrigerate after opening. Well, years ago, someone gave us a nice big bag of red machine yeast. We froze it. It keeps it longer if you freeze it. But I'll look for something to put that in, too. There's Pop-Tarts again. Uh, brown sugar and strawberry, like before. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can just right in the microwave in the box and do that. So, another instant grits. Because we like them once in a while. Like Jenny, he lived down in Alabama. He lived out west and stuff, different things. <coughs> and people up north don't eat them as much, but. And the Instant Pond had a recipe for these, but you got to get the stone ground, not the instant. But I'm going to keep these and our oatmeal right over underneath the uh, microwave part. Like I said, that old pizza oven, we're using that. I got rid of it, so. But I did want to do bread machine, because my one was old, so. And this is milk powder, because you have to use that. I can't, you can't, I used to use regular milk. I didn't realize this, but it's probably not a good idea. So whatever the recipes that I get come with it or find online, I'll use it, so. We got some King Arthur's unbleached. Bread flour and AP flour on its way too, so. But a lot of my baking supplies I got from the Dollar Gen. And uh, Dollar Tree, because I mean, they're just as good as the powdered milk, no matter where you get it, it's always going to be expensive. Which leads me to tell you something gross. <laughs> Under the powdered dry milk section, where they had reckoned they, they had camel's milk, and then beyond that, they had. Camel fat, camel hump fat. Oh, homer don't play that, man. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I eat meats and I eat some odd things like lamb that isn't really a normal everyday meat, which I guess it is compared to this other shit. <laughs> Once in a while, when I can, I have venison, uh, bison. I've had rabbit before. I think beaver and muskrat. My cousin trapped that, but that was a long time. <laughs> I draw the line with some cat meats, you know what I mean? Camel spit and it's kind of <laughs> I mean they're probably no different than lamb because they're kind of similar type of animal but I don't know it's just kind of weird <laughs> to see that on Amazon of all places but yeah so I got that too but I'm not like I seem to open that off cam because that's a vine program vine product I think it's a spice carousel <coughs> so far the diva lamb sucked in that piece of shit in the bathroom which is why I got the alkaline batteries. I already left a negative review because the fucker won't work. It's a soap dispenser. I could put probably the best freaking batteries in it, and the cocksucker ain't going to work. So I'll go and try that in a little bit, and then I'll put all the shit away, work at it, a little bit at a time.